Hi everyone, today it's going to be my first monster tail rainbow video. Sorry, I just had to close the door. Sorry. So this bracelet is called the Crisscross Quadfish, but I haven't really done a rainbow loom tutorial for quite a while, but I have one for you now. So let's get started before you waste any time. I'm going to use purple and yellow. You, you just have to pick four pegs. I'm using these four. So what you do is you take one band and twist it from this peg to this peg. And take the next band and twist it from this peg to this peg. I'll show you an example of a crisscross quadfish. This is what it looks like. So what you will need is two colors. I'm using yellow and purple. One C-clip and a hook. I got my metal hook in today, which I ordered on Monday and it's Thursday. So comment down below if you don't have school tomorrow. Just Want to know if you don't? So, so there's the two twists. Now, you take one of the yellow bands and put it across, and the other yellow band. Mm, huh, put it across. Then you have that, and you take purp a purple. And then just go up, not in a twist, but just regularly, and do it on the same, do the same thing. So I'm just getting into this. Now you take your hook, and you take all of the bottom bands. Mm. Up and over. There you go. Now you take two of your yellows. See, whatever's on the bottom you put on. So, yellows. And then take the bottom ones and pull them up and over. If you're trying to keep up, just pause the video until you're done. And then take the purple. So put, push it down first. Okay. I think I have like over a thousand purples. Like that. And then take the hook. So the straight purples was on the bottom. So then I put the straight purple on. And now the yellow. X is on the bottom, so I do the yellow X. And then take down the wrong side. bottoms and bring it over. Don't freak out saying, do your homework, do your homework. Because I don't have homework the day before weekends. So now the purple straight lines are on the bottom. So I do another purple straight lines. I know all of you are like freaking out saying, Why aren't you? Dude, you should do your homework before you do this. Sometimes I do it before my homework, but right now is a weekend. So now the yellow X is on the bottom. So put another yellow X. Oh my god. On. Um,
but you can use as many ones as you like rows as you want because um um it's because this monster tail is just for growing bracelets and this is a um cuff bracelet cuff bracelets mean that you can um, make it like do it it goes just keeps going and going and then you pull it see crisscross quad fish is go coming to life and I'll just do it and I'll talk a little bit so if you guys saw my daddy's funny daddy doing funny thing Oh, and that's funny. And if you saw Critter Night at White Stallion Ranch, that's funny too. With the whole Anna thing. So that was pretty funny. And the page was like, hi page. She's like, hi. So you should really see that. It's I don't really show the critters, but they turn off the lights. I don't want to waste it for you guys. Just follow these easy steps. It's actually kind of like, I don't know, a beginner level. It's so easy. You never make any mistakes. And I really think the hexafish is a beginner. Because it's just basically the same thing over and over over again. I mean, nobody can have a problem with that. Okay. Hmm, I'm thinking about my funny little first Empire Strikes Out video. So you can comment down below if, if you want. I don't know why I left one extra purple. That. Hope I don't get this too long for you. And then finally, that. Now this is how long I'm doing it. I don't know why I want to it. There's a quick cross quad fish. And I just want to take the bottom band and pull it over. Oh my god. I wish I made one on the painting tonight. I may do one next year. Okay. Last. Take this. your C-clip. It's big. They always come with big C-clips. I don't want this to make this video too long. We don't want to. You take it off. And then how to clip the other side. It's not hard. You just get all the ends. So... Okay, I have one more. I'm to go. It's all the way here. And then I'm almost done. There you go. So now you have your, your crisscross quad fish. Here's both of them. 
I hope you guys loved, enjoyed this tutorial. See you guys later. Bye.